My dear Pithries, I welcome you once again into this lesson. Um, I remain Miss Ruth Nanteza, and this time around, I'm going to handle literacy 1A. I want to believe that you attended the third lesson. Uh, that's where we concluded our farming, and today we have another economic activity. But before I start off my lesson, I want to review the previous lesson. I want us to see whether you passed, or whether your answers do match with the answers I have. So keenly look at your answers. Are you ready to start off this lesson? Okay. So let's look at the first question. It reads, why do people in your area carry out farming? Give three reasons. The first reason, to get food, to get money, and to get raw materials. I believe you have similar answers. Next question, mention any three problems faced by farmers. You must have identified several problems. The first one, lack of capital. Do you have such? Too much sunshine, pests, and diseases. They not, may not be exactly these because we listed or we identified many problems. If you don't have these ones that I've stated, you must have the same or related. You must have related answers. And the third question, it reads, how can a farmer control soil erosion? Oh, by mulching. Do you also have that? You remember we looked at different pictures where people were covering their gardens with dry grass. And we said, that is the mulching. Lastly, how can you care for your crops during the dry season? I told you relate it to the gardens. We have at home, we have our plants in the teens or in the sacks. Do you know that you can also carry out farming within your compound or within your home? How can you handle your plants if it is a dry season? I believe this is what you are supposed to do. You need to water them. So by watering crops, it can help in the dry season. I think you've been able to go through your work and you've already marked it. Bravo to you, whoever's passed everything that we've discussed. Now, we are in to another lesson. And trust me, you'll enjoy this. Love what you do. Pay attention because I'm all yours and I'm willing to give you all my time. Ready to learn? Here we are. And the topic remains economic activities. But the subtopic will change to fishing. I believe many of you are eager to listen, eager to learn. Yeah, I love that. Oh, in our first session, we need to know what fishing is. You know, there is a small word from the word fishing, and that is fish. I know many of you enjoy fish. Some of you are planning to eat fish today. Others ate it yesterday. But this time round, we are going to look at fishing as an economic activity okay i want you to begin thinking of fishing what is fishing if you have already known that fish is eating what about fishing as an economic activity okay right so as you still think about that I want you to put the following into consideration. By the end of this lesson, you must be able to define fishing. It won't be hard. Trust me, it will be the easiest. Next, you'll be able to give the types of fish because we are going to learn them. You will know them and you'll be able to identify the fish you ate yesterday or you ate previously. Thirdly, we you will be able to mention the methods of fishing because I know some of you are planning to be fishermen, you never know. Or you have your relatives who do this economic activity. And lastly, you'll be able to identify places where fishing is done or carried out or where it takes place. Okay. 
We are going to define fishing. And I left you when you are still thinking about fishing. Let me hope you have been able to figure out. But here is our definition. When I talk about fishing, as you can see in the picture, the man is having some fish on a certain, hmm, as we shall see. So fishing is the practice of catching fish from water bodies. When you get fish from water bodies, definitely you'll be carrying out fish. So the fish we eat, it is got from water bodies. And that process, that practice of getting that fish from water bodies is what we call fishing. And what do they get? Fish. In the next session, we need to know the types of fish. In Uganda, you know, in different countries and continents, they get, they have different fish. But here specifically, we are going to base on our Uganda. We need to know the fish that is caught within our water bodies and the one we eat or the ones you've ever seen. So I task you to identify only three types of fish. The ones you have ever eaten, the ones you've ever seen, Oh, the ones that you do keep at home. I know some of you created your own places where you carry out fishing. Oh, have you already listed some or identified some? Let's look at these types of fish. Oh, here we are. The first one is Nile Patch. This one is locally known as Emputa. I know many of you are laughing right now because you've been mentioning Emputa Daddy, buy for us Emputa Daddy, that's it. But some of you didn't know its name. It is Nile Patch. Let's look at it. Oh, it is a big fish. As you can see, I know you have ever seen such a fish somewhere. Oh, they must have brought it home one day, one time, and you enjoyed it. It is very delicious. As you can see that it is big, indeed, it is the biggest fish, the biggest. So wherever you see that big fish, actually, you may find when it is bigger than many of you, if it has really grown, and some are of my size, even bigger than me. Trust me, when you see it, sometimes you can even get scared, but it is very delicious. The second type of fish is tilapia, locally known as engege. We normally hear the fish, the fish manga uh, moving around within our area, selling this fish. This is the commonest type of fish. You can't fail to get it. And when you find places where it is sold, in fact, you'll see it in a large number because it is the commonest type of fish. Oh, you can see. The first one was Nile patch. It was only one, but very big. When you look at tilapia, you can see they are many. I think this one is similar to you. You have ever seen this. And I believe many of you are going to enjoy it today. I believe so. I think I've guessed right. The third type of fish is Nile, is catfish, locally known as Semutundu. I know many of you don't know this. Some of you know it, but... Having seen the picture, you will draw a closer look at it. And I think some of you have ever seen it. Some of you have already got scared because it has a, a different look. But that's it. Many people enjoy it. It is being sold. I don't know. Would you love to enjoy it? To taste it? Tell your parents. One day, one time, they'll buy for you catfish. It is delicious. Are you ready to look at the fourth type of fish? That is none other than silverfish. 
locally known as mukene. <laughs> Many of you don't love this type of fish, but it is very nutritious. We enjoy it at school, and many of you dodge the meals. You don't know what you are missing. It is very delicious. I enjoy it too personally with my family. Check on it in large quantity. <laughs> I love this type of fish because it contributes a lot on my health. So please begin liking it and enjoy it with your parents and your siblings. We have another type of fish, and that is lung fish, locally known as a mamba. <laughs> Take a good look at this type of fish. A mamba. Ah. The first time I saw this type of fish, I got scared. I thought that they had brought a snake. It was so scary. I know many of you are looking at it. You don't understand it. It is similar to a snake, but it's not a snake. This one is the lung fish. It is delicious. People enjoy it. Even your parents, some of them do enjoy it. But when you look at it, you may get scared. But don't get scared. That is another type of fish. I believe you can now identify types of fish. Okay, having looked at the lung fish, we have the mud fish. Have you ever heard of that? Mud fish. And we shall get to know the place where mud fish is got. That's what it looks like. And that one marks the end of our types of fish. There are other types of fish, but I've taught you those. Please go ahead and find out other types of fish that I've not mentioned. When I return, you'll be able to give me more that I have not told you or have not taught. In the third session, we need to know the places where fishing is done. Where is this fish got? The Nile perch, the tilapia, the mudfish, the catfish. Where is that all got? Can you begin thinking of places? Remember we said fishing is the practice of getting fish or of catching fish from water bodies. Which water bodies? Which places do contain water and fish can live there? Eventually, you can get it from there. Here are some of the places that will, look to, will be similar to yours. Okay, the first place is lakes. Do you have such an answer or that idea within you? So, from lakes, we do get fish. Is there anybody who says no? It's the reality. We get fish from lakes. Another place is rivers. Did you know that we get fish from rivers? It is also another example of a water body. Another place is the swamps. Which type of fish is got from swamps? Think about it. It was our last type of fish, and that was mudfish. So mudfish is got from swamps. So please don't ignore those swamps. When you have access to them, know that you can get fish from them. So if you see people moving around with fish and they are from swamps, know that that is the mudfish because it is got from swamps. Another place is the ponds. Some of you have ponds in your homes. You created them, you dug them, and you started keeping fish in those places. And lastly, we have the oceans. Within the oceans, we do get fish. So you'll find that in these different places, there are different types of fish that are caught from there. Oh. I know many of you have started developing that idea that we should start keeping fish. It is possible. You can do it in your homes. You can create a pond in your homes. Unfortunately, you can't create a lake. 
There is no way you can do it. You can, there is no way you can create a river, not even an ocean, but a pond, very possible. Good. Oh, having looked at the places, there is something else interesting. Are you ready for it? If you are ready, say, oh, yay, teacher, I'm in class, ready to listen to you. I'm also ready to continue teaching you. In our other session, we are to look at the methods of fishing. How fish is got from the lakes, from the rivers, from the ponds, what else? From the oceans. We are yet to see. But before I tell you, think also. What do you think? How can it be got? You get a stone, you throw to it, will you be able to get it? Do you fall into that water body and you pick it, will you be able to get a large fish? Will you be able to get a lot of fish? Oh, think wisely. But here are some of the methods that I used to get fish from water bodies. The first one is by using fishing baskets not every basket will do it but we have fishing baskets and take a look at these fishing baskets oh here they are these ones don't look like the ones you have in the kitchen no not like the ones you take in the gardens but these ones are purposely made for fishing you can see they have a different shape uh -huh. These ones are happily going into a water body to catch fish, but by using the fishing baskets. Another method of catching fish is by using spears. These ones should be fishing spears. Oh, we are seeing a man holding a fishing spear and is aiming at a fish. Could it be tilapia? Could it be Nile Patch? Will, be, will he be able to get the fish? I believe so, because he looks so determined. Oh, let's look at another method. At the end, you'll tell me the simplest method, the one you would love to use. We have the use of baited hooks. What are those hooks? Let's, oh, I think, oh, if you have been attentive, you must have seen this as I was introducing fishing and I told you, we shall see what that man is holding later. Huh, here we are. What, is, what he is holding in his, in his hands is what we call the baited hooks. They are hooks on that stick. And those hooks are the ones that enable him or that enabled him to get that fish he has. So by using baited hooks, which other method can we use? If I can't use the baited hooks or I can't make that, what else can I use? By using fishing nets, not nets. Because some of you may think you'll get your mosquito nets. You throw it in the water body and you get the fish. That one may be possible, but it's not the right method. The government discourages that. So we have nets that are purposely meant for fishing and they are known as fishing nets. Oh, you can see a gentleman, a man, a fisherman, because that is his work. So he's a fisherman. He's getting fish from that water body. Could it be a lake? It looks similar to a lake. He's getting fish using a fishing net and he has got a lot of fish. I wish he could give me one. Would you wish the same? Because it's really a lot. Oh, those are the methods that we can use to get fish from water bodies. Have you admired any method? Would you love to try out one method of fishing? But how are you going to do it? If you don't have 
any water body at home first set a pond then the fishing methods will come later that's it okay so having seen all that first of all tell me have you enjoyed have you learned something if daddy comes up and asks what have you learned today with with miss ruth will you be able to tell will you explain to him what fishing is the types of fish and another thing when daddy comes home with fish will you be able to identify that type of fish he has brought will you be able to send mommy for a certain type of fish i mean when you are specific not just saying mommy Please bring us fish today. Be able to identify that, mommy, it should be lungfish. It should be tilapia. It should be Nile patch. I know you have gone through all that. You have grasped something. You can now teach someone else. Ask me, Ruth, I have an activity that will prove to me that you have learned. So please, write down these questions make sure that you fill them correctly read carefully recall and then write down the first question is define fishing i believe you have already defined verbally two what name do we give to a person who catch who catches fish from water bodies which name can we give to that person i remember i mentioned Name the, the what? The commonest type of fish in Uganda. I told you, and many of you enjoy it. Next, biggest type of fish. The biggest, bigger than you, bigger than me. The one you saw when it is big. Fourth, draw a name any one place. Where, what? one place in your area not in my area but in your area where fishing is done if you have never seen fishing take pl taking place in your area begin researching people are doing it lastly which type of fish do you enjoy eating mostly next time i'll also tell you the fish that i enjoy eating mostly this marks the end of our lesson. I believe you are going to do the task, but put this into consideration. COVID still exists. I want to meet you next time when you are safe. So follow the guidelines, listen to your parents, continue washing your hands. What are you supposed to use? Mention those items you are supposed to use. I believe you've already identified them. I want to meet you next time when you are alive and kicking. Stay safe.